Hey guys, Randy here with Off-Grid Trek. I uh, just wanted to take the opportunity, I'm taking a weekend for myself, don't get a lot of these, um, but just wanted to show you my setup. I'm actually planning a trip to, and I'm probably going to mispronounce it, Haido, Haida Gaia, I believe is what it's called. Uh, some people call it the Queen Charlotte Islands. It's islands north of, um, uh, of uh, Vancouver Island here in Canada and British Columbia. But either way, I just want to show you the setup and what I'm taking and kind of give you some ideas and maybe you can take some get some value in this so obviously i'll be taking my forerunner i've got our tech 5 south african trailer here and then what i'm going to focus on is how i'm going to power everything because i'm going to be gone for about two weeks and i'm in an area where it could be quite uh cloudy as well too so one of the things i do have my milwaukee electric chainsaw i've actually just bucked up somewhat earlier but what i'm planning on doing is I've got three of our 220 watt solar blankets. Now, why am I bringing three? So my whole setup here is my whole goal is I want to go out. I want to enjoy life, but I want to, you know, have a little bit of comfort as well, too. So I've got a portable diesel heater. So that is because I know last night here you could see your breath. So I'd say we were probably five or six degrees Celsius in the evening when I was sleeping. And that's why I had the diesel heater going. I looked at it, it was probably 15, 16 degrees Celsius, so, you know, more than comfortable in the, in the tent there. But how I powered that, besides using diesel for fuel, was using the EcoFlow Delta Max. And I did a little test in that temperature, and I dropped down to from 100% to 10% from the time I went to bed to when I woke up running the diesel heater. So that's, that's not bad. So my goal is with these three 200 watt or 220 watt solar blankets is to be able to power the EcoFlow Delta Max here. And right now, what, what do we have going in? 472, 473 watts. So that's not bad. It's 1 p.m. Today's the 6th of August and we're at 51 degrees north latitude. So we're well past where the sun's the highest in the horizon for us. So that's actually really good wattage going in. So this, um, the, I'm going to use the Delta Max, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that to power, <coughs> excuse me, not just the, not just the, um, uh, the diesel heater, and I'll show you that in a moment, um, but ba basically it's going to run my laptop, it's going to run, um, I've got LED flashlights, headlamps, uh, an LED uh, fire starter, uh, regular matches of course, but I always have that. Uh, and then it's also going to run, I've got a drone, uh, and there'll be some other smaller devices as well, two-way radios and what have you. So that's all going to be run off of power, off of this. And then, of course, uh, the Tech 5 trailer here, I've got a dual battery setup. The cable you see here on the ground, that's detached to here, and that runs, that'll power the dual battery setup. So right now, that's where we're at right now. I've got it. This uh, Tech 5, it has a 75 liter fridge freezer, a fridge freezer, that's the Dometic right here. It's got hot water on demand and a shower. So I'm going to be uh, obviously keeping clean. <laughs> I don't know if I'll shower every day, but I'm gonna you know, do the best I can. And then all I did was I just bought, I know there are people buying, uh, selling kits, but I just, I just bought this. Off of Amazon, uh, portable diesel heater, doesn't use a lot of uh, power, doesn't use a lot of diesel either, which is great. Um, I probably went through a third of it of the capacity of the, the fuel tank that it has there last night. And I ran it from probably 10 a.m. Sorry, 10 p.m. to I would say probably about, um, I don't know, 7 this morning, something like that. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing this week. And it's kind of just I'm doing a dry run. Just I'm, I'm kind of running through everything, wanting to make sure that everything's good with the trailer and everything ship shape with that but uh i figured you guys might t take value in this like you know i'm, I'm the owner of the company I, I designed these i i i don't they weren't designed just to sell they were designed because i wanted to use them I, I couldn't find anything on the market that worked well for what i wanted so that's that's the main purpose for that but yeah these are the the three 220 watt solar blankets oh and i'll show you the box that they fit in so you know how how little space they take so a lot of people are familiar with these boxes uh, that for overlanding. So I'll just lift this up here. That's it. All the cables, all three solar blankets fit in here. I made sure to have, I've got four 16 and a half foot extension cables. So if I'm parked in a spot where, uh, as an example, 
you know, I'm, I'm parked more in the shade and I want the solar blankets out in the sun. As long as there is sun, then that'll work. But yeah, that's it. Oh, and then what I will be doing as well too is I've got the Dometic 75 liter fridge freezer. That's this guy here. So there, it's a dual zone. So the goal is one side's going to be, um, I've set it to minus 14 Celsius and then the fridge side is uh, three degrees. So that's, that's more than sufficient. So yeah, based on all of this, everything should run quite well. And maybe you'll take a little value in this. Here, we've already gone up two percentage. Maybe you'll take some value in this and find, um, maybe this is something that could work for you. The, uh, the EcoFlow Delta Max, by the way, this is for overlanding for a, a lot of use, just based on its size. Like, here, I'll give you an example here. You see the size here, like the Forerunner's really messy, but I'm just gonna give you an example. That fits beautifully. Even with the seats fold down, and again, it's messy, but right here, right behind the seat. Um, a lot of other comparable units, like for example, the uh, Blue Eddy AC200 Max, it's a really good unit as well, but it, it just, it's not as form fitting. It doesn't fit as well when at the end of the day, when you're overlanding, space is kind of your, well, to me, it's always a concern. You always think there's enough room, but there never is. But yeah, no, this, this is the setup here. Oh, and of course, I'll be, uh, I forgot to mention the, the Milwaukee chainsaw here. I'll be, of course, powering this guy. So it has a, an 18 amp battery. That's it right here. These are awesome, by the way. If you're in the market for a chainsaw, I only used four. I cut up this wood here and here, and I only used one bar out of the four. And I think I'd, I don't, I don't even think I charge it from the house and I bucked up quite a bit of wood there. But yeah, so I'll be charging up this, this uh, 18 amp battery as well too. Um, and I think that pretty much covers it. So yeah, no, it's gonna be a really good trip. This is a bucket list item. Wanted to get it out of the way uh, before fall hits and yeah, do a little bit of salmon fishing when I'm up there as well too. But yeah, this is the setup guys. A lot of people that overland might find value in this. A lot of people that camp or even just are into emergency preparedness could find value in this as well too. Um, our two 20 watt solar blankets, by the way, they are the newest ones. We just brought them to market, I believe about a week and a half ago. The big thing about these are exact same physical size, exact same physical dimension as, as our 200 and 215 watt solar blankets. Uh, they just produce 220 watts as opposed to uh, the lower wattage. We are using the Sun Power Gen 3 solar cells with these. And the bonus to those are, these are actually 24.1% efficiency rating. So we are now the highest on the market for what is currently available. Um, and a lot of people ask me, why do we have a 200? Why do we have a 215? Why do we have a 220 watt solar blanket? At the end of the day, our goal is to help as many people as possible with portable deployable solar. Uh, all of the solar uh, generator manufacturers or power station manufacturers on the market, they don't have a cookie cutter way on how to charge their devices. Uh, so we can't always use just one specific solar blanket to charge all of them. So that's why we have the three different sizes. Our most popular is our 200 watt solar blanket. Um, it will charge most of what's on the market. Our 220, I believe, is going to become our most popular based on just its you know, same physical size, just more power. And the fact that I can use three of these and I'm almost at the 100 volt max for the uh, for the uh, the EcoFlow Delta Max here shows that it's going to be powering it very, very quickly, even in low light conditions. Yeah, because there we are. Still lots of wattage going in. Yeah, it's not going to take long to power that up. And here, what I'll do is I'll, uh... yeah, give me a second here, show you guys. I'll, I'll just unplug one of them. Right now, the fridge compressor is kicked in, so it's drawing 3.5 amps approximately. So here, I'm just going to set the, the camera down, and then what I'll do is I'll plug in one of these solar blankets, and I'll show you how it charges our uh, Tech 5 trailer here. So let me just set this down, give you two seconds. Okay, guys. There we go. So I've disconnected the series cables for that, and now I'm just connecting. There we go. So that's our 
one cable and it's leading right here to our uh, Tech 5 trailer. So you're not going to see the full wattage going in or amperage because right now the fridge is running. So basically we've got, let's just do easy math. See, probably we saw three and a half uh, amps going out and we're averaging around just well let's just do simple math it's higher than this but another three and a half so right now we've got about seven amps going in which is quite good so yeah this will get powered up very very quickly even with the fridge running now this is we're in perfect conditions uh for where we're located at 51 degrees north latitude uh it's again not like the sun is directly above us because because of our location and where i'm going on for Haida Gaia, it's going to be, um, and again, if I'm pronouncing that wrong, guys, I'm doing my best. It's not an easy name to pronounce, <laughs> but uh, where I'm going, it's it, it's even quite a lot farther north than where we're at right now. So yeah, I'm very curious to see how this is going to go. I'll create some videos of that as well, too. But yeah, I just want to show you guys the setup. Um, you know, here's headlamp flashlight I use. Here's the electric starter. So really windy conditions. If matches are a little tougher, this is, this works really well. But yeah, that's it. Pretty cool. Okay, enjoy the rest of your weekend, guys. I'm going to have one more night here just to see how this goes. And not only that, just to enjoy life and not just work. In these interesting times, guys, take time with your family. And take time with your friends. Enjoy life. Make memories. Okay, we'll talk to you soon. And any questions, let me know. Uh, I will be available next week, uh, early into the following week, but then I'm, I'm gone. I will be answering emails sporadically. Uh, we will be shipping while I'm gone as well too, but if you have any specific questions to me, best is to reach out with an email and I'd be happy to answer it. I just won't be answering in 24 hours because we'll be away from cell phone coverage as best as we can. Okay. And, uh, lastly, we do have stock guys, these two twenties. I wanted to make sure I had close to two years worth of product here because of the supply chain before I started advertising them. So now we're just starting to advertise them. So uh, just in case if that supply chain gets worse, which I hate saying it, it probably will based on the way things are going. Okay. Have a great day guys. Uh, enjoy. We'll talk to you soon. That's the view. It's awesome.